with Anya Tag. Anya, congratulations on the debut news. How are you feeling right now? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, um, yeah, just excited, I guess, relieved. Um, yeah, to get to the stage and just really looking forward to the weekend and, and get to run out with the girls. You sacrificed a lot to, to be here, to be in Australia, to be away from family and friends. What's it going to mean when you run out and play your first AFLW game? Yeah, I think it's probably that, that the impact it'll have um, on family back home and yeah, how proud they are, I guess. So yeah, it'll be really nice. I know the support I've had from everyone back home, teammates, club mates, family has been absolutely phenomenal over the last couple of years. So yeah, just really looking forward to hopefully doing them proud and, and doing the girls in the club here proud too. Talk us through your journey, arriving in Australia and, and everything you've had to put up with and, and the commitment you've had to, to stick with it. Yeah, I suppose it's it's we've had our up and down and downs over the last um, couple of years, but um, I've yeah I've learned a huge amount I guess about the game as well over the last three years, which um, hopefully will will stand me in good stead once we do get out in the field and yeah just the support and the um, yeah the support that the girls have given me here, everyone from S and C staff to to the rehab crew, physios, the girls themselves, yeah it's it's been phenomenal. So yeah, a couple of curveballs thrown in along the way, but um, yeah we made it through and, and hopefully ready to ready to go around one. So is that the silver line of sorts when you play your first game? You'll you'll be a lot more knowledgeable about the game. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah, the experience you've picked up along the way um, from watching Vision, from chatting to the girls, and and yeah, just watching the games close up. I guess hopefully I'll yeah, definitely. I think when I look back on on how comfortable I was and what I knew um, year one in the first couple of weeks of preseason compared to now, um, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable. So yeah, hopefully that will stand me in good stead. It's not easy to rehab two knee injuries, especially if you're away from home, away from family. What, what was a big motivator for you to, to stay in Australia and, and to stick it out? Yeah, I, I guess it was just, just to get it right and to get back um, being in a position where you're able to play. Um, like Sport is obviously a huge part of my life, be it Gaelic football or uh, AFL over here. So yeah, just to, to be able to, I guess, get the body back to a position where, where you're able to do what you want to do. And thankfully, um, Touchwood, uh, yeah, I've, I've gotten to that stage now, so it's about enjoying it from here on in. We just announced six debutants and you've had to wait a while alongside Anne McMahon. What was it like for you to see Anne get that moment as well? Yeah, I'm oh, just absolutely delighted for Anne because, yeah, I guess we, we've done a lot of sessions together uh, over the past couple of years um, through rehab, but, yeah, nobody deserves it more. What she's gone through um, and just, yeah, her character, her resilience, like she's been an unbelievable support to me and inspiration as well, so can't wait to run out alongside her. What, what did you learn about her going through rehab, all those rehab sessions with her, and, and did they help inspire you as well? Yeah, oh, absolutely. And like, there's there's always girls, I guess, in and out of rehab, and, and everyone takes kind of their own individual approach. But yeah, just her steeliness and determination and resilience to to keep going, to keep smashing through. And yeah, it's, it's not been straightforward no more than anyone else, I guess, that's stuck in rehab for a while. But yeah, to see her and the way she's been performing this preseason as well, like she's she's back to her absolute best. So yeah, can't wait to see her tear it up at, at AFLW level. Anyway, to to the footy. How's how's your preseason gone? It's been a long preseason. Yeah, yeah, long but really enjoyable. Um, I guess once you're out back out there actually playing footy, kicking footy, um, and being in the middle of all the games and stuff, it's it's really enjoyable. So yeah, the last couple of weeks I guess are, are always the probably the slowest of all, just coming up to the games. But now nah, it's it's been super enjoyable. I think the changes this year have really kind of reinvigorated everyone and, and put an extra pep in the step. So yeah, just really looking forward to I guess seeing how we how we stack up against the competition once the first couple of rounds come in and yeah, see what we can build for the year to come. And, and what are you looking to bring on game days? What can the fans look forward to? Oh, look, just I guess I'll, I'll give, it, give it a crack and uh, yeah, give it my absolute best uh, all the way through whatever role Coops wants me to do or uh, whatever I can do for, my, for the team, just play my role and um, do my best and yeah, whatever, whatever comes after that happens. But just really looking forward to yeah, getting out, getting involved and, and playing my role for the team. And round one, RAC Derby, it's going to be a big moment. It should be a great atmosphere at Fremantle Oval. Yeah, absolutely. Saturday night game down at Frio as well. I think the atmosphere, the whole occasion is going to be huge. So, yeah, just really looking forward to it. I think it's coming in so fast now. It's kind of hard to believe it's so close. So, yeah, just can't wait to, to get down there. Hopefully get a, a big crowd of, of supporters down and fans out and, yeah, give them a good show. And finally, anyone you want to thank um, after helping you get through this long journey? Oh, man, a huge number of people. Um, yeah, from, from the club staff, as I mentioned, rehab, S&C, surgeons, physios and, and the girls themselves. And, and probably a lot of the support that I've received from home as well, like family, um, friends, teammates. Yeah, th there's been an awful lot of messages and, and things that have kept me going, I guess, at different stages throughout. So, yeah, to everyone that's reached out, um, a huge thank you. And, yeah, hopefully we'll, we'll be able to turn it on come round one.